I think one of the most unfortunate things that has happened has been uh, the personal demonization of uh, Vladimir Putin. And in that regard, our present president, from, well, from the time when he was uh, uh, the senior Democrat on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee and voted for NATO expansion, later continued to keep Jackson Vanek in force long after Russia was no longer uh, um, subject to it. And in 2008, when he started running for president, he said he would stand up to Vladimir Putin. I really don't know what Vladimir Putin had done to him or to the United States at that point. So, you know, and then, of course, uh, particularly in the second half of the Obama administration, where everything is being explained as a, a reaction to Vladimir Putin, we're going to cost him for what he's doing, etc. I think this is very dangerous. And going back to my experience in, in the Reagan and the first Bush administrations, one of the, I would say one of the basic points in our strategy to end the Cold War was to start dealing with the Russian leaders as individuals pay attention to where they're coming from. Ronald Reagan spent more, much more time trying to understand Gorbachev and where he was coming from than he did studying, you know, throw weights and warheads and, and uh, the technical aspects of arms control. We have talked a lot about NATO expansion, but it's not just that, although, of course, assigning, um, assigning American uh, forces uh, to Ukraine, as we've been uh, doing, uh, certainly crossed a, a red line that anybody would understand. But it was much more than that. Remember that beginning with uh, George W. Bush, we began to pull out of almost every arms control agreement we had. It's, uh, we pulled out of the ABM treaty, which had been the basis of it. We pulled out of later of this, uh, mm -hmm. uh, of the uh, uh, INF treaty. Mm -hmm. We pulled out of open size, which had been an American proposal ever since the Eisenhower administration. And at the same time, we were injecting ourselves directly into Russian politics, and as far as Russia was concerned, even worse in the politics, the domestic politics of the other um, of the other ex-Soviet uh, republics. So it seems to me that there was a, an absolute, um, almost effort. Uh, to uh, to denigrate and to insult first Putin and then in many cases the Russian people as a whole. I mean, I was astounded when President Obama was saying something. Russia makes nothing that anybody wants. At that time, the only way we could get to the International Space Station was with Russian rockets. And we were trying our best to keep Iran and Turkey from buying Russian anti-aircraft things. I mean, how can an educated, decent person, as I'm sure Obama is, make statements like that? Well, anyway, I think we have reached a situation which is extraordinarily dangerous. And I'm not sure we are handling it as responsibly as Kennedy and Khrushchev handled it uh, back uh, when I was a junior officer in the American embassy in Moscow and translated some of Khrushchev's messages to Kennedy.